you three of the bozos. That's what they call themselves. And we asked them why they do what they do. And this is what they had to say. I've noticed the reactions of the players from the other teams and the reactions of, of our team. When we walk in the stadium, you can see our guys get keyed up because they know we're there and they know we're behind them. And you can see the other team watching us and wondering who we are. And, and they, I've seen their attention be distracted from the, their playing, so I know it helps. We rally people around up at housing to come down to games. We go to everybody's apartment, you know, are you going? And some people say no, they gotta study, some people can't. So there's like a different crowd every night. You know, I'll go sometimes, sometimes I won't go if I have to study or I have other things to do. But it's, we don't want there to be like any leaders. You know, at certain games there'll be people that'll lead a cheer or something, but we don't want any one person to, to be a leader have been able to play very, very well before. A very boisterous, if uh, semi-rowdy, home crowd. Fan support was there, but just in a very conservative way. And it was, it was good, because that's all there was. But the fans were missing the emotion that was coming from the players, and their intensity, and their psych which, which, is involved, which we really felt, because we were athletes ourselves, and we did go through the same thing, and we know how much that student support and um, fan support, how much it really, really helps. Ma'a, and it clears everything. Rainbows will return. Rogers. The Bozos have been around for a couple of years at least. You know, I would say two years. And I, I don't think it's, it's, its popularity is, is even look like peaking yet, you know. And uh, it's, it's hard to say how long this spontaneousness is gonna go for. But um, as long as, as there's people that wanna get out and have a good time, then there's, there's gonna be no, no stopping the bozos, I'm sure. What about uh, people who say, uh, these guys have to be uh, half, half inebriated, these guys have to, be, have to take something artificially to get yeah. that crazy? Um, I, I can't speak for everyone, you know. Um, I'm sure there are people that have a couple of beers before the game. But, um, I know once you get into that crowd situation, uh, especially, say, the start of the Pepperdine game, um, that was, the, it was such a frenzy, and there was people just going crazy, you know, as, uh, there's no need, really, for, um, artificial, you know, drugs and stuff, because it's, uh, it's total, you just lose self-control, I think, all of the time, and it's, a lot of the time you feel just like you're in your own little world, you know, it's, and you just, all you're concerned about is, is the game, and then what, whatever you do spontaneously is, um, you know, it just arises, and it's, it's an interesting experience, it's, it's, I haven't ever done anything like it before. It's, it's really weird. I put a shark's fin on my head. I had a shark's fin taped to my head and dark glasses. And as we started walking down from the dorms to the athletic complex, we'd get really crazy. But as you got nearer to the gym, you start to get nervous and your palms sweat. I'm like, what's everyone going what's everyone gonna think? You know? But once you get inside the gym, you get in your seat, that's it. You feel completely at home, comfortable, and you start to cut loose. It really was sparked, you know, by the athletes themselves, and we had the motivation to carry it out. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of locals that are that are coming out there and getting crazy. And even some in the stands on the other side, you know, they they came up to me and said they're going to stay on the other side to get the other the other side going from us. And heck, that's all you know. That's all in positive feeling. The bozos are not without their detractors. Some have said it seems to be only the howly kids.